Hey guys, it's Nicole. Welcome back to Chronicles of a Crafter. I made this little, I guess they call these mini mini albums, um, but I made something that I thought was pretty flat and can fit into a little junk journal or become a little junk journal of its own with some pockets and tucks. Um, I originally saw this on uh, Pink Strawberries uh, YouTube page about two years ago or so. It's all six by six paper but the album itself measures five and a half by six um, but yeah I just wanted to show you guys this it's really cute use up some of that six by six paper this is some Tim Holtz paper which is normally 12 by 12 but um, yeah once you put the score marks in here and add a few elements it looks like this so I wanted to make one of these this one happens to be very masculine if you notice there's like um, cigar paper back here lots of browns deep reds and greens so yeah I just wanted to make another one of these and show you guys how I did it there's a couple of pockets everywhere and uh, yeah let's let's do that let's make it all right so for, first of all what you want to do is grab six sheets of paper actually seven sheets of paper because in here is also this cute little pocket as well which I just clip on to my fifth sheet so it goes right there it's sort of coordinating all of it all comes together really pretty so yeah grab seven sheets of six by six or take um, you know four or five sheets of 12 by 12 and cut it up and pick out the ones that you really want to play with so what you want to do first of all we're going to make this little guy right here and first you want to pick out a page that you want to use six by six and you're going to score it at three inches and then you're going to rotate this one quarter turn to the right or to the left doesn't matter and then score it at sorry two inches okay and that's going to give you your little inner pocket I believe yeah two inches okay so first of all you score it at three on one side rotate it to the right or the left and then score it at two inches all right and then you fold up your score mark And I actually want this to be my outside. Okay. And then you're going to cut on that three inch score mark right up to the two inch score mark. So here's my three inch score. I'm just going to fold this over like so. Okay. This will be the outside. And here is my little pocket. All right. And I'm just going to cut away that little three inch score mark that I made right here. Right up to the line of two. Okay. And now we have this little cutesy, but I'm going to flip one flap over to the front to make this front pocket. And then I'll have an inside pocket. Okay. So. First of all, I want to round all my corners because I prefer them rounded. And it also gives a bit of a less harsh appearance. So I'm just going to do that. Round all those corners and uh, start gluing. So let no time for procrastinations. Let's just get it glued. Oh, and I forgot that I put a little thumb notch in it so let me find my circle punch great circle punch is on the loose I don't know what I did with it I don't want to use this big one I want to use my small one give me one second let me go grab my small circle punch and I'll be right back okay so this is my one and a quarter inch circle punch that I'm just going to pop in right here if you want to ink these pockets now would be the time to do it before you uh, glue it down so I'm just gonna ink the edges up here just to get rid of that white 
from the circle punch and I'm going to fold this over like so. Okay. And I will do the same thing on this side. And I'm just estimating my center. Okay, you can have them both inside like this, folded over. You may have to get rid of a little bit for the bulk, but other than that, I mean, it will fold over and make a cute pocket. But I want to fold mine to the front or the back, depending on where this lands in the journal. So I'm just inking whatever is left that I did not ink before. And I'm using my ground espresso, which is one of my new favorite browns. Yep. Okay. So, yeah, this is going to flip over to the front this way. Okay. And I did my circle punch, and I'm just going to glue down right here. So there's that. That's it. This is the whole little extra pocket that's going into the, um, the, the little folder, the little book that I'm, we're making. Alright, so there's that. Alright, and next we're going to start working on our pages. So I picked out these pretty pages right here. Okay, some of these are 6x6, six six, some of these were 12x12, 12 12, and I've cut them down. Some of these I had to make myself because I didn't have that many um, pretty paper. Like this right here, I had to make this because uh, this is just plain white cardstock that I double-sided copied. This, um, don't know, I had to make this because this came from a different pack. This is um, something else, I believe, Tim Holtz. Here is some striped paper and yep, had to make this one as well because that's not what's on the back of this. I think this was just single sided. And here's another pretty double sided paper. So first you have to decide what you want for your front cover and um, and let's just begin. Alright, so for the front cover I am going to take my first 6x6 six six page and score it at half an inch. Okay, so you score here, half inch, and we're going to fold that score mark. Okay, on the cover of this one, I use some glassine paper. If you don't have glassine paper or um, um, vellum or, you know, acetate, feel free to use, like, freezer paper. Here, I think I have some... Nope. I had some freezer paper somewhere is about, but I don't I can't find it. But what I have also is just this is just some uh glassine paper. This is what they make those pretty envelopes with that you you know order things with. <laughs> this is tracing paper, so if you don't have glassine paper, you can always use tracing paper. It works just the same, okay? And um if not, you can always use acetate all right it'll give you pretty much the same effect or um you know vellum if you have vellum all right but this is some glassine paper that i covered the cover with and i just cut it down to five and a half by six okay so five and a half by six and i'm just going to use my little guillotine here here's my five and a half by six okay and you can probably cut it just a smidgen smaller than five and a half or you can leave it long and then just wrap it around to the back side of the whole book all right then you'll have this cover all the way around but it's personal preference that's up to you 
I believe this is a little bit longer than six, so I'm just going to cut the smidgen off right there. Um, next, we want to uh, get a our second page for the journal, and we're just going to take this full page and glue it right onto this flap that we scored on our first page. All right, I'm going to use some of this uh, heavy duty uh, Fabrifix glue, clear silicone glue, dries clear. It glues fabric to fabric, fabric to paper, and paper to paper, but it is pretty heavy duty. And that's what I'm going to use here. Yes. Okay. And this is what our first page will look like. And then you want to take your second, the second page that we just glued down. And we're going to um, score it here, okay, at, um, let's score it at four, okay, so we're going to score a little two inch section right here, and that's what's going to fold over to the front side to become our little pocket. So this is page our cover. Here's our inside cover. Here's the first page. We just scored it at four inches and folded it in to become our little pocket. And that's what this one is right here. Okay. So this is our first inside pocket. All right. And we're going to glue this down and you don't have to make it a pocket you can just leave it open as a tuck but I want to make mine a pocket so I'm just gonna add some glue here on both sides Okay. and my page just so happened to have this cute little border right here so I didn't even have to ink it or anything. So there's that. Now we're going to go to our third page, which is this one. This pretty floral paper. And we're going to score this page at half an inch. Okay. Fold in our score mark. And this one's going to glue to this one here. All right. So I'm just going to burnish down my half inch score mark. Um, add some Fabrifix glue here. And then glue these two pages together. You want to make sure that everything lines up and stays straight. And I'm just going to give that just a few minutes to dry. Change my battery and I'll be right back. Okay, so where was I? We're going to... Um, okay, so here's our little booklet. We're going to... We glued down this page. And now we're going to score it with our book closed like so we're going to score page three at three and a half all right so we're just going to score straight down here at three and a half and fold this page inward i'm going to burnish down my score marks and glue it with some art glitter right along the edges here and here okay little dry wipes okay and a little bit of ink just to get rid of the white edges on the sides all right so there's that okay so now we have our cover page one has a pocket right here 
Okay. Right here. <laughs> H2 also has a pocket right in here. All right. So actually, this will be our third page. This is page three. Okay. So our cover is page one. The first page after that, page two. And now we have page three. And it's starting to look kind of like our prototype. All right. So this is what we've got so far. And on page three, we're going to put a little pocket right here. So I just went and grabbed a piece of scrap. Um, it's actually here. I'll tell you what it measures. It measures three and a half by three and three quarters. I'm sorry, three and a half by two and three quarters. So here's that three and a half by two and three quarters. It doesn't have to be exactly this. Um, this one was a different piece of scrap that I had to glue together and then collaged on top of it. This one is just some double sided cardstock that I put a little collage on it. And it's actually, it's actually a little too big. So we're going to have to cut off one of the edges here. So I'm going to cut just a smidgen off, like maybe a quarter of an inch or less off of the side over here. So I'm just going to pop this into my into my little tiny guillotine and I cut off about this much. So this is about a quarter of an inch, perhaps, maybe, not even. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, that fits really nicely. So before we put this pocket on, I want to glue our fourth page. So let's just, um, I'm going to cut my thumb notch in here and ink it and then set this aside for a moment. Centered, but doesn't matter. Sort of centered. Okay, so this will go here when we're done. Let's go glue down our page number four, which is this full page right here. Okay, so I'm going to grab my fourth page which is this one we're going to score it at half an inch right like so <laughs> we're going to fold over our little score mark right here burnish it down so it will lay flat and I'm just going to glue this glue flap right onto our previous page number three. And that's going to go right there. Again, I'm using Fabrifix glue. And I'm just finger smushing it down so that there's no uh, whelps in the paper. It can even take a little more. All right, so that's going to go there. And guys, we're just using up six by six paper. All right, if you have 12 by 12 paper and want to do this project, you can just by simply cutting the paper into fours. All right, so you automatically get four sheets of paper from one sheet of 12 by 12. And this project can be done really simply. All right, so now we have that. Okay. And now we can glue down our pocket on this side right here. And I'm just going to use some Fabrifix glue on all three sides. Make sure our page can still fold. Yep, so that worked out. I lost my dry wipes. Okay, here we go. Dry wipe, dry wipe, and now we have our cute little pocket right there. All right, so let's move on to our fifth page, which is this one. 
All right, we're also going to score this one. Um, page five and half an inch. Okay, so I am going to score this one right here. Add a half inch. And I'm going to glue this one down right on here. So here's the glue flap. It'll then come over like so and meet the others. Okay. I'm gonna use Fix glue once again. Plenty of coverage on that. I'm just making sure that everything lines up nice and neat and any glue seepage get it with the dry wipes okay, everything's even I like it it's coming together we're almost done I promise So for this page, then this page, all right, so here we have our prototype. We just did our pocketed flap here, and this page right here, and for this page, we're going to do a separate pocket. So. I'm just going to grab a six inch scrap. Let's see what I got here. Oh, pretty. Here's this. This was just cut back from this page right here. So yeah, this will go really cute right here as a pocket. Yep. And on my prototype, I have a pocket here with a thumb notch up at the top this way and a pocket here with a thumb notch down at the bottom on this side so let me do that just going to pop a thumb notch here I'll tell you what this measures this measures two and a quarter by six okay so if you find piece of scrap just uh, make sure that it's six inches I'm using my ground espresso just to ink these pocket thumb notches and the edges just to get rid of the white. I'm not grunging up, um, grunging this up too much. I want it to stay pretty and um, light, but just to get rid of some of the, the stark um, white edges, I'm just going to use a little bit of uh, uh, ground espresso and I'm just gonna glue this down with some uh, fab, um, art glitter it dries pretty quickly so you gotta move quick and be very precise when you put it down okay I'll get with my dry wipes um, our page five and I think I'm doing mine just slightly different to pink strawberries um, the little thing that she did her mini album um, mine is going to have six pages uh, I believe hers had five five pages not sure um, but yeah I'm just doing mine just slightly different I'm sure anyone who's made a mini album in the past knows uh, how to glue these together on the half inch spine so that the pages uh, look like this okay um, 
So anyway, so this is my fifth page. One, two, three, four. Page number five. Right here, we are going to um, find another scrap to make a pocket like this on the inside here. So let's see. I have this, which also measures... Also measures two, and this one is a little smaller. It's two and an eighth by six. But um, let me see. Maybe, maybe two and an eighth isn't that bad. But I think I want it a little bit bigger. Yeah, I want a bigger piece. So let me find something. Oh, well, here's the opposite of this. not long enough so this is just the stash that I'm pulling from right here oh here's something yeah I can do that it has rounded corners but I'm okay with that yeah let's do that this little card right here it's like a little journaling card it measures two and uh, three almost three inches measures about three inches by six inches and I'm okay with that I will will I punch a thumb notch yeah I'll punch a thumb notch let's see what that looks like right on the border not bad I'm not in love with it but it's not bad Alright, so that's going to go right here, okay? Really quickly, I'm going to put some art glitter glue on the edges here. Oh, that's a wavy line. Okay, whoops. Okay. So that's going to be our pocket over there. So there's our two opposite pockets on page five. And then finally for our page six, we're also going to score this at half an inch. And wrap this project all the way home. Okay. So I scored it at half inch. I'm burnishing down my score mark. Fabric fix glue on the edges. And I'm going to place this on here. I'm just getting rid of any excess fabric fix that's sticking out. Okay, so now we have that. And on our fourth page is where our cute little thingy is going to go <laughs> where I put it. Oh, is this it? Nope, that's the one for the other book. Oh, here it is. So here's our cute little pocketed Yep, that's going to go right there with a bullnose clip. And for this one, I'm going to use a pretty rose gold colored bullnose clip. So 
So that's going to go there. This one will go on top of it like that. So that'll go like so. Alright, let's move these. And this is our back cover right here. So let's take a look at the prototype one more time. Here's our cover. We have to do our glassine with the little banner across the front. Here is our little belly band. Ooh, we got to put a belly band over here. Here's our pocket, 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 and <laughs> seed packet. All right, let's do it. Come on, guys. All right, so we've glued all of our pockets down. They're all in place. Everything is where it needs to be. Okay, so for let me move my. I think we're done scoring, so I'm gonna move my scoreboard out of the way. So on this side here, we're gonna put a little belly band, and I've chosen something that looks like so. Yep, I'm just gonna layer this on here. So. Let's cut this down to about two inches. Yeah, two inches. That'll go there, and then this will go on top of it. So, yeah, let's give it a little bit of a layering effect. And I'm just using art glitter for some quick drying time. Now I'm gonna I'm using the dots on this page. If you don't have this page, it's fine, but I'm just measuring it about maybe half an inch away from the edge. Um, so about there. Okay. And you can do a double belly band if you like. I'm just going to glue this down. Actually, no, I'll do a double belly band. That'll be interesting. Okay. Okay. So now we have that. All right, our next page. Let's see what we have on our prototype. Just a little bunting flag or banner. I'm going to place uh, one of these on here. I just ran across my um, the banner with my sewing machine just to keep both of these two on in place, but it's actually just for visual effect. I'm going to use a little bit of Fabrifix right at the top only. Okay just above my stitching and that'll give me a cute little tuck spot at the top of this page right here so there's that And to hold it in place while we move through here, I'm just going to use a clip right there. Okay, so that'll dry on its own. Um, for my next page, here's another little bunting banner. I'm going to place that one out here. So the first one went on page two. The next one's going on page four. Okay. And I'll show you why it'll give it a nice layering appearance. <laughs> it's it's super sunny outside and right now the rain is falling. Florida has the weirdest weather. It's like what they call a sun shower everywhere else, but <laughs> it's so crazy. Um so there we have that, these two. So 
so you see how it layers it looks like it's layered right there so page one two three page four is drying as well page five has our little okay this little guy and let's put some stuff in there like just start tucking some of these things in there Oh, here's a cute little dress. I wonder if it'll fit. Nope, but it'll fit into a different pocket. So, these are just some journaling cards and various little interesting, interesting little things to go into a junk journal. So I'm just going to clip that back there. I have this cute little dress die cut. I'm just going to pop this right into a pocket like so with um, a cute little journaling card. Okay. So that'll go there. Here's another cute little journaling card. Here are some tags. I'll put these two cute little tags right in here. Okay. And our last page, I believe our last page has this seed packet on it so let me just show you or coin pocket I believe yeah so this is the coin pocket I've already made the cuts and um, uh, folded it up or scored it and folded it where it needs to go and added my two little uh, brads on there for tying it off purposes but let me just give you the score measurements on here so you're going to take a six by six page Okay, so this is just a six by six sheet of paper and you're going to score it at half an inch right through there. Okay, and then you're going to rotate it. I'm sorry, score it at half an inch and then score it at three and a quarter. Where's my little cheat note? Oh, there it is. Okay, so this is for the coin envelope. You're going to take a six by six again, score it at half an inch and then score it at three and a quarter. Okay. Then you're going to rotate it just a quarter turn and you're going to score it at half an inch again and then score it at five and a quarter. That's it. All right. All right. That's all you need to do. So then you have your, your page like so, whichever way you decide to um, hold it upright. You're going to cut away this bottom section here and cut away this top section here. All right, up to the three and a quarter score mark. Then on your half inch glue flap, you're just going to cut angles on there to reduce the bulk. And on the half inch glue flap down at the bottom, what's left from here, you're just going to cut little triangles off to reduce the bulk. Punch in your thumb notch, ink it if you like. And this right here, I just hand um, cut around to make it rounded corners, but you don't have to do that. I don't have one of those We Are Memory Keeper um, corner punchers or corner rounders. Um, my corner rounder this one would not fit down in there so I had to use my hand to do it and then this is all you have left I punched a couple of holes in there with um, my my uh, hole punch with my cropper doll and punched through or pushed through a couple of brads with some um, reinforcement tabs on it all right so here are your two glue flaps which is this one and this one I am going to fold at my three and a quarter inch um, score mark and fold at my half inch score mark. I'm going to use some Fabrifix glue to seal this up. Fold in my glue flap. 
and I'm going to glue my bottom section as well and fold in my glue flap and that's it so to tie it off I used um, I used a little bead dangle at the bottom you don't have to do this this does create some bulk if you think about it I mean you don't have to put um, a dangle on there but I wanted to just for interest and I'm just going to slip this underneath my brad tie it in a knot and actually here's what I've seen people do and I don't know if this is going to work but I'll show you what I've seen I've seen people take their their string slip it into the hole that the brad goes into right wrap that around like so and then flatten out the brad okay so now you have this thing that looks like this it's secured by the brad and then you can just put a little bit of glue on there to secure it all together right so I'm just going to show you it looks like that when you're done and your string is back here or on the outside and then just pop a little bit of fabric fix and that holds your strings together underneath your brad let that dry and when you close it up your string can then be wrapped around like so okay so there's that I'm just making sure that my glue flap is in place with the front cover yeah so there you have that all right so and then that will glue flat on the back cover of this book once all of my glue dries but that's really much that's pretty much it guys like you can tuck all kinds of things in here there's journaling cards galore I have all of these from uh, paper packs that I um, that I have I've cut them down to size just gonna move my coin envelope out of the way I've cut these down to size so that they fit down in here um, remove that. okay I'll go down inside of here and um, I just tuck all sorts of uh, journaling cards into each one of these either the belly band or the pockets and the flaps so let's just take a look at what I've done so far um, okay so here is our front cover I went ahead and glued down my glassine um, cover on the front cover so I just took a piece of that glassine it's kinda like freezer paper but it's very opaque and um, you can see through your product or your project here on the front cover there is a belly band, a double belly band if you will because I glued down one belly band and then layered it with a second belly band alright so these will then tuck underneath here okay so we got a double belly band there um, on this one we have this little bunting fl uh, flag and that can house something under there it's a cute little tuck spot for that uh, let's move on to these pockets back here page two has um, just a tight little pocket I made this little cute little journaling card that's like an old Rolodex um, I got this made this with a die and um, some journaling cards here okay so this is from a Tim Holtz pack. This is from a, um, a paper pack called Forest, I believe. So there's that. And put my little Rolodex card in there. Here I have another little pocket on page uh, three. And it has all sorts of journaling cards and, you know, cute little things, double-sided um, cards in here and whatnot so that's going to go back in there and let's just tuck everything in properly so that it folds and closes easily ok 
Okay. So then we have page, uh, the back side of page three has a pocket here with a little bit of collage on here. Okay. Put a, put a couple of tags in which can also be used as journaling space. They're very cute. I didn't punch any holes in the tops of them, but I did cut them into the tag shape and they are um, just remnants of what was left over from other pieces of um, the project. I'm just gonna fix this. There we go. All right, then we have another little bunting flag right here. So I'm just using this as demonstration to show you that this can hold down something underneath there. Um, here's another pocket with some journaling space. Cute little card from that same paper pack called Forest. And some Tim Holtz paper. Oh, here's my pretty little dress that I die cut. Okay, that's going to go in here. And you can, you know, you can give this as a little project to someone to put together their own little cutesy things. So that's why I die cut this dress to go in here. It's not attached to anything. And here's a cute little journaling card that says cultivate kindness. Okay, so that's going to go right there. On the other page, we have a pocket as well with some additional journaling space, some journaling cards. This pocket is actually made of a journaling card. So you can see right here, you can actually journal right here on this pocket. And this right here is our little um, hidden pocket. It has pocket space on the inside, pocket space on the back side, and it's held together on page five right over this pocket with a bull nose clip okay and on the back page I left it pretty plain this is where our coin envelopes it's gonna go so now that it's all dry it'll go right here and I just used some baker's twine to create this little tie up for it Okay. And I did include a little dangle, a little pearl dangle right there. Okay. So yeah, this will glue flat onto the back here, or you can glue it on three sides and make it another pocket, you know, back here. If you glue it on three sides, that'll go there. All right. And then I took my uh, border punch. What did I do with it? I just took my border punch and punched um, this little piece of remnant. It's like, it's a little piece of, um, you know, scrap paper. And I just punched out that border right there, like so. Okay, to create some interest here on the back page. And that is pretty much it. I'm gonna glue my coin pocket down flat with Fabrifix. making sure to get my corners so it doesn't lift. And I'm just gonna glue this down, whoops. <laughs> just gonna glue this down right here, oh no, in the middle of my last page. All right, so there's that. The only other thing I did was I took some washi, okay, this pretty little floral washi right here, and I just added a piece to give my fourth page, oh, sorry, my fifth page some interest. So I just added this piece of washi right there, and I took this same washi, and I added it to my spine just only to the edge of the front cover. So yeah, that gives my back page some interest, my spine some security, and it just only goes right up to the edge of the front cover. And that's pretty much it, guys. Um, 
yeah we can try this again at a later date I still have plenty of six by six paper we can make a different kind um, with you know various tucks and pockets but this is just the the basis of what you can create with just some six by six paper a scoreboard some glue and you can create all kinds of pockets and such so um, you know and, and tucks and whatnot this is a die again um, you saw me glue this layer down you know it's just all about the imagination and you can do this too alright guys so pretty simple score on half an inch and go from there and now you got this alright so yeah I hope you guys have a crafty day I'm gonna leave you right here so stay naturally curious guys and I will talk to you in the next video bye like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time clear to see from up here the world seems small we can sit together it's so beautiful you and me we meant to be in the great outdoors Never free